New at six, new details on the transition of power. There's still over two months before Donald Trump will take the oath of office, but he and his transition team are hard at work filling thousands of positions. He's already made some appointments, including one that has sparked some controversy. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us with what Rhode Island's elected leaders have to say. Yeah, There's been a lot of new developments in the last day about what a Trump White House will look like. So I talked with some of our senior politicians to see how they plan to work with it. We had so many things. Before his interview aired on 60 Minutes Sunday night, Donald Trump already had made some key decisions. Let's talk about your cabinet. Okay. Have you made any decisions? Yes. Tell us. Well, I can't tell you that, but oh, I have made some decisions. Eventually, he revealed RNC Chair Reince Priebus will be Chief of Staff, an insider with deep ties to congressional leaders like Speaker Paul Ryan. And so that speaks to someone who might be able to work with the, the Senate and the House. Trump's pick of Steve Bannon as his chief strategist has been far more controversial. Bannon, the former head of Breitbart News, has been criticized for using the website for the alt-right movement. In a late afternoon news conference, President Obama said who a president surrounds themselves with is important, but not much else. It would not be appropriate for me to comment on every appointment that uh, the president-elect starts making. Others did comment. Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline tweeted, outrageous that Donald Trump is hiring someone so close to the white nationalist movement to a senior position in his administration. He might even be setting up a tension with his own White House between a pragmatist and an ideologue, and that could cause problems. Rhode Island Governor Gina Raimondo, in response to the Bannon pick, said, Rhode Island is a place of tolerance, but said it's time to get to work. I'll work with anyone talk to anyone, go anywhere if I think it'll create jobs in Rhode Island. Protests continued throughout the weekend. In the 60 Minutes interview, he said Americans should not be afraid of his administration. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.